<laughs> hey, hello everybody. Um, all right. So we are going to talk about uh, Blue Hive because, as you can see by the uh, title, that I am changing to a Blue Hive. I actually said that I wanted to do a Red Hive because I had a lot of spicy bees, but um, you know, just how the world wants it, uh, Blue Hives are the strongest currently in the game, and I'm switching towards the end game. Uh, I have my last quest with, uh, you know, here we have the Spring. Uh, no, not Spring. What is it called again? Spirit Bear. Yeah, we got the last quest with Spirit Bear. We almost done with that and then we have some you know some stuff on the sides that we can do like the black bear that keeps repeating or the ultimate ant annihilation you know I'm not too keen on those like I'm really taking my time with that but I'm gonna switch to a blue hive because it's just OP and um, it's probably gonna get nerfed at one point but as of right now that's just my goal I don't know if it's gonna pay out in the end uh, but we are gonna get that balloon while I'm talking about it and I'm gonna talk to you about uh, what kind of bees I'm gonna get in and uh, yeah, that is currently the best way of doing a blue hive. So uh, I'm just gonna quickly go through uh, the bees. Obviously, I ha I'm not finished. I'm not finished at all. I literally started this morning with this idea, so it's gonna take some time. So I did a lot of research. Everybody that watches my videos knows that I do a lot of research. And uh, yeah, so let's just start off with the basic bee. It's quite important. Uh, you're also going to need. I'm just gonna go through quickly through it. Otherwise, it's gonna take way too long for you to watch the video. So bumblebee is gonna be important as well as you can see because of the capacity, which is kind of new by the way it's a new uh, add-on to the bumblebee we have the cool bee uh, you do not need two of them I just have them in there because that's going to be changed at one point uh, you only need one for the 15% blue pollen uh, you need the looker bee for the critical power and the focus tokens which is really nice uh, stubborn bee is for the ability token lifespan you can use it uh, you can switch it out for a hasty bee if you want I don't usually sometimes I switch it out for a hasty bee sometimes I keep uh, sometimes I keep the stubborn bee in there also you need the bubble bee you do not need three of those um, but I keep them in there because I don't have any tadpoles I well I do have tadpoles I have four but you need much more than those so as of now I'm keeping the bubble bees you can do that if you're in mid game like me uh, going towards end game then you can do that by the way these are still from my old other ones uh, my old mixed hive so I'm gonna get rid of those and I'm also gonna get rid of that one so uh, let's continue the the journey here um, yeah so bubble bee one buckle bee one and commander bee and by the way when I just say one I obviously mean gifted gifted is super important they all have to be gifted every single bee that I'm mentioning in this video has to be gifted so um, buckle bee uh, we need for the 20% blue field capacity which is also very good very helpful and also here we get the focus tokens from the commander bee now um, yeah exhaust bee you don't need because it's wide field demo bee you don't need fire bee you don't need the frosty bee oh sorry the frosty bee you actually need for the 30% blue bomb pollen uh, and the blue boost you also get the blue bomb uh, from it which is really nice the blue bombs you need for for example the pop star um, the honeybee also very nice gifted one uh, times 1.5 honey from tokens which is really good you get the honey mark as well and so on and so forth I actually uh, don't need the shark bee I have to take that out of my hive because it only gives you white pollen but it does give you haste as well so um, yeah that's up to you baby bee uh, you can do one to two or maybe even none some people actually don't use the baby bee at all I'm probably gonna get rid of it because once you have the gifted tadpole bee whoops uh, the gifted tadpole bee it actually is going to give you baby love so you don't need it anymore but since I don't have that yet, I'm not going to use it. Carpenter bees you don't need anymore. That's mainly for white hives. But you can use it, uh, especially when you're in mid-game. It's a good bee. Um, I'm still kind of figuring things out with it. So, uh, yeah, I don't need that one, actually. Um, yeah, the diamond bee is quite important because you get the convert rate, uh, which is really nice. And you have some other stuff. You have some blue boost tokens as well. Um, two music to three music bees uh, is preferred. Uh, but yeah, two to three. I have two uh, in at the moment, but I'm probably gonna get the third one in because I don't have the. Was it the antlers that you need to get uh, the melody tokens? I don't know. But anyways, uh, ninja bee you need as well for the bee movement speed. You have the blue bomb. You have haste tokens in there as well. You have haste uh, grants player movement speed for 20 seconds, which is quite nice. And what else do we have? So this is uh, where it's gonna get a bit crazy. You need 14 bouillon bees. Uh, I have six currently, so I'm still, you know, collecting 
uh, as we go along. Uh, you can use one to two fuzzy bees if you want. I keep two and as of right now I don't want to get rid of them uh, because I think I actually even have them gifted so I just keep them in there. Uh, precise bee you don't need uh, but I keep it in because uh, currently because I don't have anything better to put in but you don't need it at all. You do not need the spicy bee. Uh, those are the ones that are uh, going to be the next one with the exhausted bee that I'm going to take out. Uh, tadpole bees, very important. You need 14 of those as well. 14 uh, tadpole bees, also very, very good to have. They're the main uh part of the you know of the hive so tadpole bees and bouillon bees those those are the ones that are really good for a blue hive vector bees you do not need i'm gonna get rid of every single uh one of them so don't talk about those uh bear bee you can keep cobalt you can keep festive is good gummy is good photon you don't necessarily need but i'm gonna keep it in for the instant conversion uh tabby obviously and vicious is gonna stay in there and i do not have a windy yet i have to really get that so uh yeah that's gonna be my change to the hive um i'm also gonna get the diamond uh mask uh, my nose is kind of blocked that's annoying using a little bit of nose spray right here um yeah that is basically it. Uh, yeah, you need the diamond mask. Uh, you need those items that I'm wearing uh, here right now. And uh, I'm going to go towards the blue hive. I mean, this is all very uh, experimental right now because I'm still learning about everything, learning about a perfect, um, you know, amulet. Look at my supreme uh, and amulet. It has convert rate, critical power, movement speed, which is... Oh, wait, that's that's not... That was my ant <laughs> amulet. Wait a second. This is the real one. This is the supreme star amulet. This is times 2.5 capacity. 13% pollen, which is not too good. I wish that would have gone up a bit. 4% B ability rate, 65% blue pollen, 10% uh, instant conversion, and 75% pollen from bees, and the passive pop star, which is uh, not too bad. This is not a bad supreme star amulet. And yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to switch to a blue hive. You should too. Uh, red hive is okay. You know, you're going to be fine with it. You're going to do a lot of damage with it, which is nice. But um, yeah, I think the more the best pollen farm hive currently is the blue hive. There we go. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.